This is a brief overview of the basic sustainability assessment tool. This is a tool that enables any organization, for-profit, not-for-profit, doesn't matter, to assess its progress towards causing no harm to people and the environment, as well as giving it credit for its positive impacts. The intended users are small and medium-sized enterprises or large organizations with little or no staff on the sustainability um, issues. It's a comprehensive generic tool. It's designed for any size organization, in any sector, in any country. And it's comprehensive because it looks at all of the core sustainability issues that are covered by most popular reporting frameworks and standards. So let's take a look at what we mean by that by seeing what it is that they all seem to be talking about or asking about. These are the frameworks that we took a look at. This one, of course, is one of them. Future Fit Business Benchmark, B Corp Assessment, SDGs, Global Reporting Initiative, Integrated Reporting, SASB, et cetera. And what we were looking for is what they had in common. And it turns out that they're all asking about these 18 things. They use slightly different language, slightly different emphasis, slightly different terminology, but they're asking about governance. They're asking about seven environmentally related things, five employee related things, and they ask about five community related issues. So though when we talk about core ESG issues or core sustainability issues, these are the 18 things that it looks like we need to ask about in order to make sure that we are doing a comprehensive assessment. So we can take a look at a generic business model for any organization, which shows that the organization is nested in society, which is nested in the environment, and the organization through whatever it does, brings things in, inputs, either directly or indirectly through suppliers, into the organization, does something with them, with its employees and its equipment, it produces outputs, products and services that go to customers, hopefully at the end of life of those customers or end of use of them, they're returned either into this organization's input stream or another organization's input stream, but they're kept out of the environment in a circular economy. So what you have here with the circles are the five impact points of the organization on the environment, input, output, operations, on employees and on communities. And we can take those core issues and show where they show up in terms of these impact points. So on the input side, we have energy and water coming into the company as well as goods and services that it's procuring. On the operations and output side, we've got emissions, waste and possible encroachment, things that we need to pay attention to from an employee point of view and also from a societal point of view as well as overall governance. So that's it. What we need to do is assess how the company is doing on all of these things. And if it's doing really, really well, it's sustainable. And if it isn't, it's not. So what we have to do is come up with a scale. So the scale is zero to 100%. And the, what the tool does is it assesses how the organization is doing on each of those, as well as coming up with an overall score. So it has a scale of zero to 100% associated with each of the individual issues, averages them, adds those positive impacts, gives a bonus for positive impacts being restorative or regenerative, and has an overall score. So this is a way of assessing how close the organization is to where science says it needs to be on all of these issues. The nice thing about this is it takes those scores on the ESG issues and it use them, uses them as proxies to generate scores on sustainable development goals and the non-financial capitals. You'll notice that it says the design point here is less than 50 questions on the 18 core issues. The good news is that we're down to only 20 questions. Still though, very comprehensive. So let's take a look at this ESG issues mapping to the SDGs. We can show that the ESG issues are related to primary aligned SDGs, such as water to water, 
energy to energy, greenhouse gases to climate action, wages to no poverty and zero hunger. So we can show how the scores on all of these ESG issues generate scores or can be used as proxies for their associated aligned primary SDGs. You can come up with scores on each of them individually as well as overall, plus the positive impacts for them as well, and an overall score on them. Similarly, in terms of the non-financial capitals, natural capital, human capital, and social capital, if we've got scores on their associated ESG issues, we've got scores on the capitals, both overall as well as, again, adding in a bonus score for positive impacts for an overall score. So what this does is it assesses the progress the organization is making on causing no harm to people in the environment, gives it credit for positive impacts, it's comprehensive, it's generic, it's looking at all of the issues, and allows the expression of those scores in ESG language, SDG language, or non-financial capitalist language. So it's a pretty comprehensive tool. 